my name is Kent Curtis. I'm a parent, I'm an educator, and I'm an active volunteer in Pinellas County Schools. For the last 20 years, I have been educating students and training teachers in innovative classroom techniques, hands-on experiential education, education that works. For the past eight years, I've had skin in the game. I've had kids in Pinellas County Public Schools since kindergarten, mostly um, exclusively on the south side of St. Petersburg. Um, as an educator, as a parent, and as a participant in those schools, I have to say what I see in the schools right now concerns me. And it concerns me not because I have kids in the schools only. It concerns me because I'm a member of this county and this community. And I know as well as you do that our public schools are the places where our communities are remade every single day. If we want to live up to the great promise of this country where every child, every child has an opportunity to compete, if we want to fulfill the promise of merit, strength and democracy, if we want strong, healthy economies and strong, harmonious neighborhoods, we have got to succeed in our public schools. We have got to succeed in ensuring that every child, every child, whether boy or girl, whether high income, low income, or in the middle, receives an appropriate and a quality education. To that end, I will work to enhance policies that recognize that every child is not going to college. And those who don't still deserve an appropriate and quality education so they can move out to the job market and get a well-paying job. I will develop policies that acknowledge, <clears throat> sorry, that, my, that our most important constituents need to be listened to carefully. We need to have an open and accountable a responsive and respectful school district and school board for our parents, for our communities, um, and for our guardians. Ten seconds. Ten seconds, okay. And, uh, and oh no, the buzzer threw me off. All right, well, so I want to, I'm running for school board in short because I believe we can do better. I believe we can do better for our kids, we can do better for our parents, we can do better for our teachers, and we can do better for our communities. Thank you very much. Do you believe that teachers and staff should have firearms training and be armed? Uh, I absolutely do not. I don't, I don't believe we should have guns in schools. I don't believe that schools are places where firearms should be when you have a firearm in school, you have a firearm in school, and I think that that's um, absolutely inappropriate. Now, um, I do believe that, that children, teachers, and others should feel safe. Um, I think we have sort of nationally seen a couple of really horrific incidents um, that have been in isolated places and that have been the result of a much larger failed social services and psychiatric services system. Um, I do not believe putting more guns or putting any guns in the schools anyway to address that. And I certainly do not want either of my children in a school where they are born. They work 
week after week, month after month, year after year. I have been a parent in the Southside schools for the last eight years, and those schools have not gotten better. This is not about our city school board members. This is about the outcome of our schools themselves. I've been in those schools. I've worked with those children week after week after week. I've brought mentors into those schools. I've talked to the parents. I've met with the community. I understand the dynamics of those problems better than most people, I think, except perhaps Renee, because um, I didn't grow up here. But I, and I came here to teach in a college and live and not do this. I did not come here to be a school board member. But when I saw what was happening in our schools, I got involved, and I became a volunteer, and I made it my, my life mission to deal with this. We cannot accept the level of, 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 of education, the low level of education that we have in our low achieving schools. It is unacceptable. We cannot let it happen for another year. It's that simple. This is not about board members not trying or being well-meaning. This is about failing. We cannot fail any longer on this. We owe it to these kids. We owe it to these kids. I see them go through third grade and get discouraged and not want to continue with school. No child should have that happen. I believe this in my heart of hearts. We cannot stand by another year and allow these schools to fail our children. We owe it to these kids. We owe it to their parents. And we owe it to the future. It demands it. Thank you very much.